Shit, I wasn't ready when my buttons weren't ready. <laughs> Update. No. <laughs> It didn't tell me it needed an update, or I would have done that a while ago. What the heck? What the heck? Hi, what well, bestie. Hi, Tim. I'm so sorry to hear about your day. I saw a little bit of the news today. I'm sure sorry. That sucks. And well, bestie, that fucking sucks. <laughs> that also sucks. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um. That sucks. <laughs> That's a long day. That was a long fucking day. That was a long day. And hi, Ari. It's the it's the blue gang right here. <laughs> Shades of well, it's do y'all consider teal green or blue? It's definitely an in-between color, I think. Tur I think turquoise is blue though. Turquoise is blue. But teal is like an in-between, right? I don't know. People thought chartreuse was a color that it's not for the longest time so i don't know but we're here and I, I my stomach does hurt so the ibs girlies will get it and the ibs people who or the people who don't have ibs won't so that's what's going on right now uh i forgot to turn captions on let me do that real quick okay um so we're gonna play this game i have i do not remember a damn thing except when i loaded this i had the hospital. So I'm thinking we're checking on Sholmes. Uh, I thought it was trial time, so... Um, my stomach hurts. Teal should be closer to blue, right? 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 But it's got a little bit of green in it. Green teal is basically seafoam. Right, yes, 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 I get- yes. 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 Absolutely. I get acid reflux a lot. Yes, similar, similar. I don't, I get the other way of IBS though. I, IBS C, technically. So I'm, I'm in pain. I've been in pain for a few days. I went to the store yesterday and I got vanilla Coke Zero. I literally screamed. I was so shocked that there's a vanilla Coke Zero in store. I haven't seen that shit for like three years. And then, but today I feel a little like worse than yesterday. So I don't know. Maybe my, all my luck and energy was spent because I found the cutest pair of mint green vans and I had to get sneakers. They're, they're cute, but like, they're not like any like sneakerhead things or anything. But I found two perfect pairs of shoes yesterday uh, at TJ Maxx and the vanilla Coke Zeros. And something else is perfect too, but I don't, I don't remember. But it was a pretty good day yesterday. Today, it's crappy outside. It's fucking cold. It's been raining. It sucks. <laughs> it's windy. I bought new sneakers and I can't even go for a walk because it's nasty outside. We had lime cokes in like a long time ago. I was young. I was a kid. I want to like when I was 12, so I was like, what? Like 15 years ago? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's like 15 years ago, but they got rid of lime Cokes. But I do love lime and Coke. I think it tastes a very delicious. Oh. I didn't want to read my emails. I didn't want to read that. Anyways, we're gonna play this game. Have you tried the cherry vanilla Dr. Pepper? I like the... I think I have... I like I like I like most flavors of the Dr. Peppers, but I really like the strawberry one. The strawberries and cream Dr. Pepper. It smells funky in here. It smells like Fritos. Freestyle machines have lime co oh, say less. Say less. Say less. Oh, the store okay, so I live in a Pepsi town. Like most places have Pepsi. And if they have Coke, they they have like a the standard soda machine, not like the um freestyle machines and the only place i think that's freestyle is firehouse subs but their soda is flat they're kind of nasty so i don't really like if i really wanted like a vanilla coke before i found these ones i would get i would go to firehouse um it's not worth it though it's flat it's flat freestyle machines are the reason any of us survived <laughs> I wish there was more in the city. The city is a Pepsi town, and I don't, I'm not a Pepsi fan. I'm not. 
I'm not. I have no idea where I am at in this game. But yeah, my throat was hurting Monday. Ah, I know where I am. My throat was hurting Monday. That's why I canceled the stream, because I was like, I'm not going to be able to talk. And I literally laid on the couch all day watching sewing YouTube videos. So that's where I've been. <laughs> and then yesterday, I played Civ 6 all night with Jeremy. I bought DLC. I bought... I don't know what I bought. He bought it for me, technically. But uh, so we played Civ Six all day. So I took, I did rest a lot, and I still feel like shit. So I, I kind of want to maybe think it's the weather because it's been thunderstorming like all day. So it's probably the weather. Anyways, let us get into this freaking game. It's been so long. I forgot how to stream. Uh, we're in the State Center's hospital apparently on April seventeenth. Wait. <gasps> Ah, uh, if I just actually streamed two days ago, it would have lined up perfectly. <laughs> uh, who am I? Who's talking? Yes, I quite understand. I don't know. That is a great weight off my mind. What? Is it a video? Didn't he get shot? And he's walking around? Rest assured, I shall put everything in place exactly as we have discussed. Thank you so much. It has been an honor and a pleasure to be acquainted with you, Mr. Sholmes. Who's talking? Hi, Chris. It has been a while. I've, I've been sicky. Sicky. I'm burnt out. A little bit. There's like, definitely sicky yesterday. In, or Monday. Monday. Tuesday, I felt burnt out. Today, I feel a little, just kind of crappy. A little crappy. How are you, Chris? Uh, who's talking to him? How is he walking? Wasn't he... I hope and pray I never get shot. But isn't it kind of... Doesn't it hurt? <laughs> doesn't, it, doesn't it fucking suck? <laughs> doesn't it suck to walk around? Maybe? I don't know. Does it really depend on where you've been shot? Is, does it really make that much of a difference? Or it should, sh should hurt, right? Right? <laughs> on the contrary, the pleasure has been mine. Man, the news recently has been like awful. It's been I should probably, you know, just not be on social media anymore. It's just it's a lot. I bid you farewell, Godspeed. We're Oh. Oh, oh. My dear madam. What is happening here? I've been so so I felt that. What is the Spanish way of saying so so? Oh my god, we were literally that's more or less. <laughs> I guess it is, huh? Um, we were literally two seconds away from finishing the chapter. Why? Where, where was Juju to tell me that? <laughs> where was Juju? <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyways. <laughs> oh my god. We're in the trial. Let me change my title of my uh, stream. We are in the trial. Trial time. There we go. There we go. All right, let's get into it. I thought it was trial time. I thought when I woke for the following morning, Susanna san was already gone. Outside the window, the rain came down in the sheet, down in sheets. Who fucks us up? And so began an even longer day than the last, one that I would remember for the rest of my days. What do you mean? What does Ryunosuke mean? It's still the 17th. Ooh, the music. Good morning, Gina. She doesn't want to look at me. I'm determined to prove your innocence today. I'm sure we can do it. Is the little one with me? The little child? I need to do some work. Have some fun doing work. It's work time. I need to wipe my nose. I forgot to take Xyles all last night. <laughs> I'm suffering right now. Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to do that. So, where's your friend, uh, Cockney accident? Um, I forgot. So, where's your friend then? Sorry. You know, in the fancy dress. That's Southern. Cockney accent is just a British Southern accent, though, isn't it? 
Suzarto, Suzarto, you're being fake. Or however you say it. I don't know. Mrs. Suzarto had to leave early this morning. She was already gone by the time I woke up. You all right with that, are you? Forget about me if you like. Go and see her off. She's already gone. It's fine. It's not as though Mrs. Suzarto and I won't meet again. She's uh, in Japan, my home country, one day. Even so, but, but you, Gina, you only get one chance. This trial today is all we have. Good morning, you two. <gasps> She's got Wagai. Wagai. How are you feeling, Ginny? Did you manage to sleep? Meow. Iris, what, what are you doing here? What, what, uh, what do you mean? When a friend is in need, we show support. Isn't that right, Waggy? Meow. Meow. Waggy! Right way to support, show your support, kitty cat. Let him have a nose around. What arm can it do? Oh, that reminds me. I brought a paper on the way here. Now, would you like the good news or the bad news? What do you say, Runo? Ginny? I'm like scratching all my makeup off. Oh well, I think I'd rather get the bad news out the way first. No, always take the good news first. You might not live to eat the bad. What? That questions always gives away people's personalities. Oh. I think I am a bad news first person. Let's not go there. All right, then I'll give you the bad news first. A record amount of rain has fallen this morning and carriages all over the capital are struggling to move. Hmm. The bad news was a weather report? So I hope that Susie made her train to Dover and that train isn't delayed on its way to the port. Oh, yeah. All right, then. So what's the good news? Well, the rain is forecast to subside this afternoon. So even if the train is delayed, it should be able to make up the time later. Well, that is good news, isn't it? I don't fucking know. I couldn't give a monkeys, really. Monkey? If only a good, all good news canceled out the bad. And look, the trials made the headlines too. Palm broker perishes and pick purse plunder. See? How do you like that? Well, won't them say they want. Well, let them say what they want. See if I care. I can't because you're covering your face. Don't worry. Runa will show everyone that this headline is nonsense. I will. And then in tomorrow's papers, the headlines will be. Discharge divers, dauntless do gooder. Isn't that right, Runo? Yes, let's hope so. Of course they will. I have absolute faith in you. How was that? I was trying to sound like Susie. Did it work? Did it? Uh, it's like she was still here. Today's paper has been entered. It's the morning paper purchased by Eris. Shall we look at it? We should probably look at it. Why else would it be entered in our court record, you know? Man, we have, like, no evidence. That's great. There's a sensational story lowered down the front page as well. Look. Ministry mole. Classified secrets may have been leaked overseas from Ministry of Justice. Our 10-year-old. Iris certainly has her finger on the pulse of world news. It's about secret communications between Great Britain and, and its allies. Apparently, they're being intercepted by hostile nations. Communications are being inter intercepted, but how would somebody be doing that? That's the question, isn't it? I've come up with three different possible methods so far. Are you looking for a new career, Runo? No, of course not. I wonder, perhaps this is what Lord Strongheart was talking about yesterday. Yes, it could be, and it could explain why he has Gregsy running from pillar to post at the moment. That's it? Pawnbroker perishes and pick purse plunder. How awful for Ginny, I mean. Tomorrow's headline will be Discharged Divers Dauntless Do-Gooder, right? Yes, yeah, something like that. If possible, I'd like to go even bigger. Bigger, how? Proud pickpocket protects planet post-trial, perhaps? Protects planet. Oh, I can't wait for tomorrow now. It's going to be so great. All right. All right. All right. Let's go. Obviously, I don't know what the law like Susie does, but still... Why can we have weapons in the courtroom? I'll be here by your side the whole time. The these people are the reason why we can't have weapons in the courtroom. The whole time giving you moral support and encouragement. 
I'm not sure that big thing is as comforting as you think it is, to be honest, but thank you, Iris. That's very kind of you. Oh, yeah, Iris. Yes, Ginny, that was not Cockney. Well, I was wondering is all about Sholmes. Did they fix him up all right? <laughs> yes, uh, the operation was a great success, but Hurley still hasn't come around yet. What do you mean he was awake to sell his auto buy? Meh? I've asked a friend of mine at Scotland Yard to send a telegram as soon as he wakes up. I'm sure Gregson will let us know the moment there's news. Oh, right. No suzada san and no Mr. Sholmes. It's all down to me today to prove that Gina is innocent of this crime. Ms. Gina Lestrade, counsel for the defense, the trial is about to begin. Please make your way into the courtroom. It's time then. Yes, let's go, Gina, Iris. Lead the way, Bruno. All right, let's hope this trial goes okay. Poor Gina. She's trying to put on a brave face, but I can tell she's worried and scared. I have to believe in her from start to finish. That's the weapon that will secure our victory here. And our boyfriend. Our dead boyfriend. If I learned anything from my great friend, it's that. Wait, if we learned anything from our dead boyfriend, it's that. 17th of April at 10 a.m. And there's our current boyfriend. In the name of her- not him. <laughs> in the name of her majesty, the queen, I hereby declare this court to be in session. This trial shall determine the guilt or innocence of Miss Gina Lestrade. I now call upon the counsels for the prosecution and defense to declare their willingness to proceed. The prosecution is ready. The defense is ready. Lord Von Zeeks, my lord, there's our boyfriend. Remind me, how many years ago was it that you withdrew from the Public Prosecution Service? Why do we have to bring this up every time? It was some five years ago, my lord. Yes, and then two months ago you resurfaced somewhat unexpectedly, and here you are again today. Are there some circumstances of which the court should be aware that have led to this erotic Erratic? Erotic? <laughs> erratic behavior. In what one might describe as your former life five years past. You dealt exclusively in matters concerned with the highest echelons, echelons, echelons of society and government. Really? <laughs> Yet today you choose to try a simple case of burglary and murder. I confess I find it more than a little befuddling, counsel. There are two types of person I cannot abide. Firstly, those wealthy scoundrels who hide behind a mask of philanthropy to cheat the public at large. He means Mr. McGilded. Her head barely sticks out over the fucking, like, table. <laughs> he means Mr. McGilded, who you defended against the Reaper two months ago. Yes, I just about managed to work that out, though. Thank you. Magnus McGilded, if I'd known what a monster he was, I never would have defended him. And secondly, even more loathsome, those who wily scoundrels who masquerade as allies only to effect total betrayal in the final hour. In other words, the confidence tricksters from those tiny islands in the far east, the Nipponese. He's just being racist right out the bat, the bat, like out the gate, whatever. <laughs> like what? What? Oh my God. What? I can fix him. What? what? Did he really just say that? No, for real, he really did. He means you now, Runo. Yeah, no shit, Iris. <laughs> Total betrayal, what are you talking about? That torrid look of hatred in Lord Von Zeke's eyes. Was that directed solely at me or was he talking about all Japanese people? That is a good question. An alarmingly scathing explanation, Lord Von Zeke. Still, the judiciary welcomes the return of the so-called Reaper of the Bailey, feared by all London's malefactors. Your lordship is too kind. Now jurors, the six of you have been selected at random to represent the will of the people in this trial. Oh, it's, it's that. Wait, is this the Russian guy? Is this the Russian guy? Is this the Russian guy? From the, the second case? 
Is he the guy who was running away from Russia? I think he is. Former lieutenant in the British Army here, don't you know? Chaps like me were born ready. Clean, crockety, clean, cut, and clean, cautious. His lordship is small, so it's very appropriate here, I think. New person. Everything will be stereoscopic in the future. Absolutely, absolutely everything. And I'm ready for it. Is he an eye doctor? You're a doctor? I don't understand it. I can't have left it in there. It's not possible. But could I have? And you're doing the telegraph? Women are dispensable in society. Stop. Female centric future awaits. Stop. He's got a little rat. He's got a little rat, man. Good day. I am with. Should we give him a ooh woo voice? <laughs> Good day. I am visiting London for sightseeing. I would like to take bus to Crystal Tower, please. Is something wrong, Bruno? Not exactly. It's just... I'm fairly sure I recognize these jurors. Almost all of them. <laughs> really? Funny coincidences like that do happen from time to time, don't they? But it is quite strange. The jurors are chosen at random from London's six million inhabitants, you know? So I've been led to believe that something tells me I'm being duped. There is not six million people in this town. Or is there? <laughs> Very well, now Lord Van Zeeks. Six million people and... Five million nine hundred ninety-nine thousand nine hundred... 80 of them are cannot be on the jury that's what it is very well now lord manzix the, con the court calls upon the prosecution to introduce the facts of the case as you wish my lord allow me to begin with a word of warning to the ladies and gentlemen of the jury in short he's pointing at me there's been an, never been more of a self-evident case of cold-blooded murder can we chill out? Can we chill out? The victim, Mr. Pop Windybank, proprietor of a pawn shop on Baker Street, was shot from behind and died instantly. Prosecution presents this photographic print of the crime scene. Hmm, okay. As the court was observed, there's a single bullet wound just below the gentleman's left shoulder. The evidence suggests that the bullet pierced the man's heart, resulting in a near instant death. Moving on to the findings of Scotland Yard's coroner. His report states the bullet entered the body on a rising diagonal rising diagonal trajectory. And what's that supposed to tell us? It means the victim was likely shot by someone significantly shorter in height than himself. Someone like the accused, you might say. Oh. The prosecution wishes to present the autopsy report and crime scene photograph as evidence, my lord. Indeed, the court accepts. Hand them to the bailiff, please. Report prepared by the Scotland Yard coroner that confirms instant death due to a single bullet wound from the back. There are no other signs of trauma. And the crime scene photograph that shows the victim murdered in the storeroom. It shows the single bullet wound in the man's back. I now ask the court to turn its attention to this plan of the establishment where the incident occurred. Okay. The proprietor was found in the storeroom where he kept where he kept articles pawned to him. A windowless room with a single point of interest entry, a door to the main shop that was found locked. In this sealed chamber, there were only two persons present. The victim, Mr. Windybank, and the accused. It may further interest the court to know that when the accused was discovered at the scene. She had in her hand the gun used to fire the fatal bullet. Well, that's that then, isn't it? Nothing more to say. Isn't that grubby little girl a pickpocket anyway? She's one of those filthy drabs that live in the slums in the East End. Oh, well. It was only a matter of time before she got blood on her hands then. What other jurors waiting for? The girl's guilty as hell. Uh, Wendy Banks died. Sholmes didn't die, but Wendy Banks died. Me when my sword art is on. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> we can't jump to conclusions here. We mustn't assume her guilt because of what she has to do to survive. Oh, there it is. First sippy sippy. 
My learned Nipponese friend. It is you who mustn't jump to conclusions. What a beautiful man, though. The prosecution has barely begun for Zinnigan's case. Conveniently, this appalling act of murder did not go unobserved. There were witnesses. I want a game theory where they try to figure out how much wine he's wasted during his career. <laughs> Matt Pat, get on it. Get on it. Is he canceled? <gasps> Is he canceled? Wasn't he just at like something big for creators? Was it Creator Clash? Wasn't he there? I feel like he's been canceled. Has he? What? Really? Where's Tim? I feel like Tim would know. <laughs> Good gracious. After their testimony, this girl's true nature will be exposed. Pitiful pick purse or cold hearted killer. Here's to establishing the truth. Hmm. The court will take floor pan and firearm into evidence. And then to the bailiff, please, Lord Van Zeeks. At once. All right, a plan of Windy, Bank Windy Bank's pawn brokery. The crime. Uh, bleh, bleh, bleh. Plan of the. <laughs> a plan of Windy Bank's pawn brokery. The scene of the crime. It shows the relative positions of the main shop in the rear. Is Hobart eating things? Hobart, don't make me kick you out of the room, because you can't behave. He's been a menace for the last few days. I think it's because I'm sick. Um, he. <laughs> The other day, Jeremy came home from his night shift. <laughs> uh, I'm still usually asleep when he, Jeremy comes home. Um, but it woke Hobart up like crazy. He was throwing his toy around the room, running around, hitting the walls. <laughs> like, like all like all morning, like constantly all morning. And he's been trying to steal Chloe's food constantly. Yeah, I know. And Chloe is... Every time I stream Chloe, she's licking my melodica. She's licking my melodica. Oh my... What is happening right now? What is happening? What is happening? Found a Twitter thread and the first piece of tea is being transform... Phobic... Pho Transformers? <laughs> Transphobic. <laughs> Towards Pyro. What? That was 10 years ago. Do you think people can change? He's on thin ice. He's on thin ice. <laughs> He's on thin... Hobart, where are you? Thin ice. Thin ice. <laughs> Hobart's on thin ice too. Yeah. Thin ice. <laughs> <laughs> We got them more treats too today, like chewing. Well, Chloe gets chewing treats and Hobart gets kitty gogurt. We got some today. Kind of went over our budget for Target today though, by ten dollars. So, oops. <laughs> All right, this one's. Thin eyes, neat knees. <laughs> He's just gonna keep. Van Zeeks is just gonna say some out of pocket stuff today. We're just gonna have to accept it for now. He. I can fix him. This, today I will fix him. Hopefully. Uh, it shows the relative positions in the main shop in the rear. Okay. And the gun. A gun belonging to the victim, Mr. Windybake, that Gina was holding when she was found unconscious. There are signs of only one bullet. I need to move my ring light that holds my phone i don't think i need it today but um maybe i do i look like a little british boy right now my ponytail is very hidden do i think people can change but the thread shows minimal oh fuck dude fuck 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 can you link it are you able to link it right now i'm interested i'm interested see i feel like tim would have known about matt pat <laughs> Welcome back, Tim. 
We're, we're finding out that map hat is problematic. I'm like very shocked right now. I'm like, what? Okay. Oh, Tim doesn't know. Okay, I thought Tim would have known. All right, all right. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, I'm gonna read that later. <laughs> this isn't good. I feel like the moon in here has turned very gloomy all of a sudden, Runo. I think that's because it has. <gasps> Take your clothes off. Beautiful. I wish my Switch was modded. I really wish I had a modded Switch right now. I know there's some good mods of this man. There has to be. weekend. Bring forth the witnesses to the foul murder of Mr. Pop Windy Bank on the 16th of April of this year. I'm saying, I, I bet, I bet there's some, some good mo- What is happening? <laughs> Why do they look like little mice men? State your names and occupations for the court. Okay, e-girl blush. <laughs> Nash Nash Skoken. Na n he's got a pair. It's Mario and Luigi. <laughs> it's <laughs> What is happening? <laughs> They're a little fruity, that's why. They're very fruity. What is happening? What is this? What What is this? Nash Skoken, occupations um, baddie. He's a bad bitch too. He said, I'm a bad bitch. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, professional baddie. Name's Ringo Skoken, occupations um, same as him. They really did say Ubu. Look at them. Tobias Gregson, Scotland Yard Inspector. That's right, we're what they call. Brothers? Brothers? Bro the three Skulkin brothers. I'm shocked right now. Why are you looking at me like that for? Don't let me in with you lot. Cool, blimey, that's cold. Don't you know what we're going through? It's our older bro. I've lost contact with him. We have. We have. So we're scouring every shady corner of the capital. And then last night, we come across you. The very spit of the bloke. Ain't that right, Ringo? He is now. She is that very spit of him. So we decided there and what we was gonna do. We was gonna call you. Mm, eat that. Big bro of Sulky. Come on, leave it out, you two. Soki Skulkin, and that's before he runs out of chips. I know that there was a bunch of fleet and the leave the top to cut to my silk bird. The pure silver gilded color lapel. <laughs> they 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 said fruity. I read like 20 posts under that thread. I'm gonna dodge a bullet and kindly unscoop. And subscribe. The wild thing is that thread was three years ago, and I'm like, did things things really haven't changed since then? He hasn't addressed it. Is he is he pulling the PR of just not paying attention to it? Is, am I ruining my chances to collab with these people? Maybe it's fine. I don't know if I want to. He probably doesn't believe that I'm not, and non-binary people. <laughs> All for the jokes and the content. Yeah, it seems very that. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it, Grandpa. Well then, Inspector Soki Gregson. Begging your pardon, my lord, but the name's Tobias. Well, I would like to know, Inspector, is that you're doing... What are you doing in the witness stand? The Skulkin brothers are currently under arrest, my lord, on suspicion of theft. Hmm. Thieves, are they? These three? Two! No, my lord, he is peeping. He is. 
He is peeping. <laughs> he is peeping. <laughs> Begging your pardon, but please don't let me in with this lot. Two nights ago, these two brothers illegally entered an establishment with two intent to burgle. With the intent to burgle? And in the court of the nefarious activities, they became embroiled in far more sinister crime. By Jove, you meant to say, what an extraordinary coincidence. I'm getting into it. <laughs> Indeed, my lord, while attempting to burglarize the pawn brokery, they witnessed its proprietor's murder. By Jove. He's on a box. That's me, just like me for real. Order, order. The various trespasses of these brothers is not the subject of today's proceedings. No, they will naturally face trial in the very near f future. With your lordship's permission, I'd like to remain in the stand to keep those gents on the straight and narrow. Of course, Inspector, skeptical as I am about the cali calibre? Calibre? I don't know. Of these witnesses, I will permit them to take the stand. Mr. and Mr. Skulkin, you... Mr. and Mr. They're brothers. You will now testify before the court. Describe the events of the night in question and what exactly you saw. Happy to. They got a little dance. Cause the Skulkins never Skulkin. They look like Pokemon trainers. Get out of it. I saw a TikTok of this kind of big creator. Uh, I don't remember what her name is. It's so bad when I see TikToks constantly and I don't know someone's name. Anyway, she had she ate like a filet of fish and it had me thinking, why do people think fast food fish is bad when it is just fish sticks? Y'all think fish sticks are gross? Cuz I kind of like fish sticks. I think they're pretty good actually. So why do we think fast food fish sticks are bad? I want to know. Illegal entry. We was walking down Baker Street in the small in the small hours, and the gaff store was ajar. See, it was like some kind of sign begging for us to go in it. It was. But once we got inside, called Blimey Lumi, we heard a gunshot from the back room. We went to see what was it, what, but the door was locked from the inside. We never done nothing, governor. We never took nothing. We just left after that nice and quiet. <laughs> these are silly little guys. A terrible coincidence, it would seem. At the precise moment, these miscreants entered the property and even the more sinister crime was afoot. The witness's testimony is consistent with the crime scene in every detail. The door providing access to the storeroom from the main shop was indeed locked from the inside, and within only the victim and the cursed were found. Hmm. I must say, it does appear to be an overwhelmingly simple case. Still, the defense may cross-examine the witnesses now, of course. Counsel, if you please. Counsel? Um, mm, yes. What's the matter, Runo? Sorry, I I was just stunned into silence for a minute by the blatant lies being told by that pair in the stand. I know that's it's all nonsense because I saw it with my own fucking eyes. I'll just have to expose their testimony for the pack of lies it is. Hobart is a menace. He's stealing Jeremy's chair. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> All right, let's see. We was walking down Baker Street in the small hours and the gaff store was ajar. See, press. Hold it. Uh, the front door of Windy Banks was ajar, you say? What time of night was this? Must have been about one, right, Ringo? Yeah, I'd say so. Right, Silky? How would I know? <laughs> the place would have been shut at one in the morning, just like every shop in town. Hobart is staring at me menacingly. <laughs> oh. Okay. 
Mystique. Oh my goodness. Why is he like this today? Menace. He's a menace today. Menace. Bum 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 bum. Oh, uh, shut down at one in the morning, just like every other shop in town. Beetles were so real before they blew up. My man Rinko was trifling in the streets. They don't know shit about the Beagle. Uh, the Beagles. <laughs> the Beagles. Bingos! Uh, Bluey on the mind. It is Bluey on the mind. I just want to watch Bluey right now. I just know one's name is Ringo. Ringo Paul. I don't remember the other two. <laughs> what was pitch black inside? It's true. Ain't that right, Ni Ringo? Hmm, I'm not so sure, Nash. I seem to remember a little light burning inside. I gotta finish dinner fast so I can make it to a meeting. Have fun, Tim. I hope dinner is tasty and I hope your meeting goes well. Ringo, Paul, Dusty, and Starshine. <laughs> I don't remember the other two. Is that bad? Beatles fans don't come for me. What about you, Soki? Me old mucka. Leave me alone. There definitely was a small lamp and burning inside. That's what alerted us to the situation in the first place. And when these gentlemen ventured into the open establishment, the accursed Miss Gina Lestrade already had the muzzle of her gun trained on the unfortunate victim. You're putting words in their mouth. Objection. I'm gonna say that, right. That is pure conjecture. Is that what conjecture means? I think one is John. John. John, yes, that that is the most famous one, arguably, right? What is the other? What is the fourth one? Herm. Perhaps, but it changes nothing. He needs a silly little lip gloss on. Those brothers inadvertently wandered into the middle of a cold-blooded murder. Simply because they found the door of the victim's establishment open and ventured inside. Right, that's what happened. Is that what happened? It was like some kind of sign begging for us to go in, it was. What are you trying to suggest? That you had to go in? Well, God moves in mysterious ways, they say, don't it, Ringo? They do, Nash, they do. Must have been some sort of providence, I reckon. God's will often presents itself as the whim of thieves, does it? If it weren't no whim, I'm dead sure of that. It weren't, Nash. It weren't, like we said at the time. You just don't find doors up in the middle of the night like that. Nah, no, there's two ways about it. It was a sign that our long-lost brother was inside. They're not very good liars, are they? No. Well, you can't deny it. It led us to a book which just looks like our bruv. I said cut it out. Those chips are getting done chopping today. All right. But once we're gone inside, call up Limey Loomy. We heard a gunshot from the back room. Hold it. A gunshot. Just one. Are you sure about that? Yep, just one, Governor. He he's Luigi. You think Gregson's Luigi? Just give one, Governor. I can swear to that. It was. Nash, it was. Ain't that right, bruv? The little portraits are cute. <laughs> the firearm used to belong to the victim himself. I. <laughs> Just a guess. <laughs> Mr. Wendy Bake always used to leave his gun lying around on the counter. All neck, like a Bob's Burger character. Right, I remember. When we examined him, we examined it. We found the revolver was completely out of rounds. That makes sense to me. Does it? I'm looking at the gun right now. I don't know how to work a gun. This is Min Mr. Win I think I can figure it out. This is Mr. Windy Bakes gun. The, sil the cylinder is completely empty. How did I live in the middle of nowhere and never have worked a, a, like a, a gun? Always used to keep his gun to hand on his shop counter. 
but only ever with a single bullet loaded. I understand. That's right. To keep all the pawned articles that were in his care safe. But one bullet was fired that night, and the poor man lost his life. Are you protecting your shop? Try to keep the articles safe? They taught me the gun safety when I was a redacted scout. <laughs> they actually have gun safety? That's kind of shocking to me. This is... Yes. Okay, so it's empty right now. Nothing else about it. I don't think they do just live in bumfuck Pennsylvania. Fucking Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania has to do with one of the mini crossword hints today. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is next to Kentucky? Really? I think if they actually did, that we got licensed in some way. Oh, true. Oh, weirdly. Okay, I was like, maybe I don't know shit. Because I don't know shit. I don't. That looks horrifying. I'm going to zoom in. So, trigger warning. That is disgusting. Anyways, I'm I'm not looking at it anymore. Up oh, when you bang. Pawnbroker. Time of death. 1 to 130. Reporting party. Ryu no Skinarahoto. It was me. Single bullet wound in upper half of victim's back. No other visible signs of trauma. Instant death. From a post postero anterior bullet wound to the heart. Bullet enter the body from the back on a gently rising diagonal trajectory. Okay. Mr. Bandy Bank always used to say you only ever kept a single bullet loaded. That's true. I remember him saying that. So we can say with one considerable certainty that only a single round was discharged from the fire. <sighs> Sleepy. Uh, use this as a murder weapon. Yes, my lord, we can. And I should remind the court that the firearm in question was discovered in the hand of the accused. Hmm. Wonderful. We want to see what was... Who was locked? Hold it! That was a lot of what was. Scott the was. Do you mean the door between the main shop and the storeroom? If my learned friend is having difficulty grasping the situation, perhaps a drawing would help. Okay. I keep yelling. Sorry. I had a coffee today, too. I don't know. Excluding the shop's entrance from the street, there's only one other door, that of the storm. Okay. Of course, there was only a little oil lamp burning, not much to see by. And the door was hidden behind a curtain and all. That's right. When we arrived, the door was mostly obscured by the curtain. Tell me, why exactly did she try to open that door? Hmm? Any normal petty thief would run with the sound of a gunshot, I should think. Oh, uh, 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 you turned to rabbit, Ringo. Uh, well, uh, no, uh, uh, yeah. I, I suppose you don't have to say we ain't normal, eh? Broadly speaking, humans respond in one or two ways on hearing a gunshot or scream. The timid flee, gripped by fear, while the co courageous investigate to see if they might help. These gentlemen are of the latter inclination, my learned Nipponese friend. It would seem as of the former. I'm just gonna call him my learned white friend. <laughs> Alright, somehow I just proved that I was a coward that night. Thank you, counsels. So, I believe we all understand that the door was locked and could not be open. Proceed, witnesses. We never done nothing, governor. We never took nothing. We just left after that nice and quiet. So what is sus? Oh, fuck. I was supposed to press. What do you think about this pair? I think they're lying through their teeth. And I'm going to prove it. Okay. What is it? Well, I'm not really sure. There's just something a bit funny about that prosecutor over there. Hmm? Wait, could this... Could this testimony be some sort of trap? Is it? 
I'm not seeing what's immediately obvious, but I'm gonna press statement five real quick. I gotta press every statement. Hold it. You didn't do or take anything. Is that your story? Oh, some bedlam as soon as, as soon as weren't it? What? What does that mean? It was, Nash, it was. Didn't even have time to pull me a dukes out, me Lucy Lockets. So no time to take your hands out of your pockets. You just live nice and quietly. That's right, governor. Nothing we ain't more than violence. Peace loving nibblers. We are not bludgers. We are Nash. We are. Never even pulled me dukes out, me Lucy Lockets. Do you clearly like us to believe? Come again? As you fled from the pawnbrokers that night. Did you not run into anyone? Um. And did you not fire a gun at that person? Uh, Saints alive? They fired a gun, you say? Ah. Why me, governor? You ain't telling us it was you in the doorway. It was. Why the bleeding Nora? Did you mention that before? You were armed with a gun. And as you fled the scene, you fired that gun. At London's greatest detective, Herlock Sholmes. They shot the great Sholmes? I did hear that, actually. There was a rumor he'd been rushed to the hospital. The great Sholmes? That's beyond the pale. Don't be mad at me. On the night in question, this pair were arrested by the police within minutes of the discovery of the crime scene. Their suspicious countenance, countenance rapidly gave them away. Hee <laughs> hee. And when searched, a firearm was indeed found in their possession. Furthermore, oh my god. I'm struggling here. <laughs> I'm struggling. Hi, Hoffer. How are you? Furthermore, the barrel shows signs of a shot having been fired from it. He's pointing. The prosecution invites his lordship to examine the firearm recovered from these brothers. Yes, indeed. Remnants of a powder around the muzzle, as you say, counsel. What are you? Who are you SOSing to? SOS, please, someone help me. It's not healthy. I will hydrate. I should have refilled my water. I put my frog sticker though. The good frog sticker on the water bottle. I need to clean it tonight, though. It's kind of nasty. <laughs> All right. Frog. Dirty frog. Well, he's clean. The This is not. Do the redemptions not show mobile? Is it not? Is that is that a bug? Or as Twitch would call it a feature? Uh. Homer is asleep over there. God, I'm yawning a lot. I had food before stream. I had a thing of Chinese Chinese <laughs> chicken fried rice. It's not Chinese. <laughs> It's fake Chinese. It's Chinese inspired, but it's just frozen microwavable chicken fried rice. So. <laughs> all right, all right. Chill out. Chill out over here. Chill out. <laughs> okay, these are for you. My VODs from yesterday didn't save at all. My widgets all stopped working. Oh my gosh. Twitch is so annoying sometimes. A little sleepy. I am literally that emo today. I'm very sleepy. But I said I'm going to power through. I'm going to stream. And the, the faster I get this trial done, the faster I can go to bed. <laughs> faster I get some sleepy time. Unless she's cozy. He's cute. The court will hold its weapon as defense evidence. A firearm found in the position of the Skulkin brothers upon their arrest. There are signs that a single round was fired. Look, they're being menaces right now. Mmm. Delicious. When he looks away, doesn't he look like he's like cry like like kind of looking like what is the opposite of cross-eyed? What is the opposite of that? 
I don't know. Excuse me. I hate yawning. I hate it. No, my Lord Nipanese friend. Yes. Here's to you successful presenting the evidence. Here's to you successfully presenting the evidence. Or yes, there are the telltale signs of a spent powder on this gun and a single bullet missing from the cylinder. But the prosecution demands evidence that it was fired at the scene of the crime under scrutiny in this trial. Objection. Nipanese. Is that like a real word? It feels not real, right? <laughs> Well, I don't need evidence because I don't know. I was there. Technically, you need evidence. Objection. However, the rest of us in this courtroom were not. I feel like it's just... <laughs> it feels wrong to use it as a ease, like Nipponese. Like, I know Nippon, Nippon. I feel like an adjective... A Adjective describes a noun. Uh, I feel like there's a better word than that. I'm Americanese. <laughs> what is Japan's word for America? Does Japan have a word for America? It also feels like if you call someone Indianese, right? It feels weird. Nipponese feels weird. But Japanese makes sense. Chinese makes sense. I don't know. Cantonese makes sense. I I'm scared to say words I don't know on stream. <laughs> That's America. It means rice country. Language is weird. Language is weird. Uh, if the defense fails to provide evidence in support, uh, support of its rash claim, zip zip, we shall have no choice but to toast your incompetency and move on. <coughs> they literally went, oh, these are rice colored people from rice country. They literally said racism. <coughs> What do I bring Sherlock, Herlock, not Sherlock, Herlock in here. And we say the bullet is in his chest right now. Is that how we prove it? I don't. I, I... The court demands that all claims are affirmed with clear proof. What evidence shows that these witnesses unloaded a firearm in the pawnbroker shop? in charge of showing us Mr. Mason's paper autopsy report it's got to be the blood right yes it's the blood Oh, it, it's not lodged in him. It shot through him. It's this, right? I think it's this. Take that. The evidence is in this portfolio. What on earth have you there, Council? The music's... It's still going, so that makes me nervous. During the course of our investigations, we discovered a number of bloodstains. Not trusting the police to do the job they're trying to do. How arrogantly nipping is of you. Nipples. Well, anyway, we analyzed all the blood samples we found and recorded the results in this portfolio. Well, I guess Nipponese would be more accurate because they call themselves Nippon. Than like Japanese? It just sounds weird. It just sounds weird compared to Japanese. Is it because it's no, it ends in E. Nipponian? Nipponian sounds better, I feel like. Is it because it ends in an N that you add E's? Indonesia? Indonesian? I'm trying to think of whether there are E's. Uh, 
I don't know. I think it is because it ends in the end. Like you add ease to it. English just sucks. We need a more powerful way to tell us the Japanese people would call themselves Nipponian or Nipponese. <laughs> we analyzed all the blood samples we found and recorded the results in this portfolio. Well, what does China call itself? Because when we say that too, will we say like whatever China calls themselves ease? <laughs> Like in the 1890s when we do that? And you claim to have evidence the court is demanding, Theron. Yes, my lord. That's me talking. I'm British all of a sudden. There's no more dallying than counsel present the pertinent evidence at once. What do you have in your portfolio that proves these witnesses unloaded a firearm? This one? Take that! What is that? Explain. Photographic print taken at Whitney Bakes Pawn Brokery on the day of the incident. From the scene of the crime, it is in 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 in. in, in. Is the fan on? I'm so cold. I'm so cold. <laughs> it is. Is it that a bullet hole? And if my eyes do not deceive me, it appears the bullet is still lodged there. Oh yeah, it's red. It's not Danganronpa. Yes, as your lordship noticed, the bullet appears Mr. Winnie Bakes' calendar. Uh, the date shown being the 16th of April, the very day of the pawnbroker's death. It's, it occurred at one hour after midnight, but this indicates that a separate shop had been fired sometime after the calendar had been set to the 16th. That's right, and while it isn't irrefutable, the defense believes... This is credible evidence that the witnesses did fire around from their gun in the pawnbrokers that night. Ah! They're wearing little shorts. I think that's kind of funny. Order! How does the prosecution stand, Lord Van Zeeks? Hmm. Sip, sip. If that is the direction my learned friend wishes to take, the prosecution has no objection. What? Oh. But you'll forgive me for flinging my hallowed chalice aside in disgust at the repugnancy it exposes. Yes, on the night in question, these brothers entered the pawn brokery illegally. And like the bold baddies they claim to be, open fired on the news arrivals before fleeing back into the street. Take it easy there, gov. Now you're gonna land us in the suit. We had a deal. You were gonna get into them details. Tell him, Soki. Set the bloke straight. I have nothing to add. So he knew, did he? Anzix knew their testimony would almost certainly expose the extent of their crimes. It would seem now that I owe my lonely Benny's friend a word of gratitude. What do you mean? What I mean is that you have a helpfully confirmed an important fact. To a fact you refer. As has been established at the point of their arrest, a single shot had been fired from the brother's gun. However, that shot found its target in Mr. Sholmes. Then clearly these witnesses cannot be accused of the fatal sh shooting of the proprietor and victim. Hmm. In other words, these two men have no material connection to the murder of Mr. Windy Bank at all. That's it. That's it. We didn't have nothing to do with it. We didn't, Nash. We didn't. That's what I reckon. Your crimes include unlawful interest entry, intent to steal, perjury, and let us not forget an attempted murder. Quite a catalog, eh, fellas? We're in for it now, bro. Now then, let us take a moment to consider the aforementioned great detective, Mr. Herlock Sholmes. It seemed the man patronized the pawnbrokers in question somewhat regularly. Where is he going with us? Mr. Sholmes appears to take pleasure in tinkering with eccentric machinery. Eccentric? Says who? Not me. Don't give me that look. He installed a pair of machines like this one in the victim's shop. Oh, that one of Hurley red-handed recorders. What is that, Council? It has the appearance of a photographic contraption. As your lordship has surmised, it is indeed a camera attached to a small timing device. Every half an hour, it automatically photographs the interior of the establishment. 
The idea being that if a thief were to break into the shop, he would be caught red-handed. Hmm. Prosecution has obtained the photographs taken by the device on the night in question. Dog. It's moving too fast. I'm stupid. As the court will serve, observe, copies identical prints are produced in quite desultory fashion. Hmm, rather prodigal, I feel. In fact, there are two such devices in the victim's shop, my lord. Not this Rube Goldberg ass security system. If I may refer the court to the plan of their premises, their respective positions are here and here. You say these cameras produce a print every half hour. I'm afraid I failed to see how that would help the anticipated thief conduct his activities in one of the many 30 minute intervals. One can only pray that this the would-be criminal lingers, my lord. Hmm. On the night in question, the witness is currently in the stand. We're not caught on camera. My watch keeps yelling at me that my storage is full and I don't know what to fucking do about that. That is a bit of a fried chuck, eh, bruv? Lady Luck lives a skulking. Witnesses, at what time did you trespass begin? Hmm. Must have been just after one, right, bruv? Must have been, Nash. Must have been. Yeah, just gone one. In which case, minutes before these brothers into the establishment. What scene might we expect to see within the shop? Let us examine the evidence. <gasps> hmm, that's not looking good for our girl. That is not looking good. <laughs> Okay, girly. Good lord. It's the defendant. It sure is. Miss Gina Lestrade. <laughs> yeah, she, she's gaslighting, girl bossing, gatekeeping. As the court can clearly see. What the hell is going on here? The accused is pictured, gun in hand, facing the victim over the shop counter. No doubt coercing the proprietor to open the door to this storeroom. One can only too easily imagine the events that unfolded. The court will take this photographic print as evidence, if you please, counsel. The photograph of Gina has been entered into the courtroom. Hmm. I don't believe it, Jenny. In short... The accused is the only person who could have possibly killed Mr. Windy Bank. Chill. 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 I say, my lord. It's a jury, isn't it? I wonder if I might put in a word at this point. Go ahead, Mr. Foreman. I took a volley bullet to the knee in the Battle of Maiwand, 1880, don't you know? Decorated for it and all that, but forced to retire from service, sadly. Of course, a medal can never outshine the exploits of a chaps like us on the battlefield. Yes, Mr. Foreman, and what exactly is your point? Carrying on the battle effort or retirement, you see, the battle of daily life, if you like. Here I am now, leading this small squadron, six men, all good and true. And we all go down together, you mark my words, one for all and all for one. Zip, zip. The ladies and gentlemen are of the jury have reached agreement, have they? Is that what we are to understand? Well, Mr. Foreman, is that correct? In a manner of speaking, yes. That is the Garadab Squadron's position, sir. What? No, it's too soon to make a judgment here. Status report for the court, men, on the double. My swordships insist on a promptitude at all times, and that goes for making decisions, too. I think you'll find the truth is as clear as day. Now I could reach out and touch it. I wouldn't have left it in there. I just wouldn't. But in all honesty, I can't actually remember. Is he the surgeon that did surgery on Sholmes? Situation clear. Stop. No room for doubt. Stop. Truth now undeniable. Stop. I am very sorry for my brothers. They are unlucky. I am very sorry for brothers. They are unlucky. He's got a little rat friend. Very well. 
I now call upon each member of the jury to state his or her leaning in this matter. Announce your consider announce your considered verdicts to the court. Guilty. Damn it. Guilty. Well damn it. Guilty. Well, damn it. Guilty. Damn it. Guilty. Oh man. Guilty. Damn it. I thought he was Russian. Well. We got a right to hear why. It does indeed appear that the jury is unanimous in its leaning already. That photograph is fucking something. But Ginny didn't shoot him. No, of course not. My lord, the defense wishes to assert its right to a summation examination. Fire is heavy. My <laughs> mind. Whoa. <laughs> Very well. They're just throwing lit fires in newspaper, so it weighs it down some more, right? The court grants permission. So, you refuse to admit defeat again. How unsurprising. Did you know? It has to be something like that, right, Hoffer? I don't know. Did you know calories the amount of energy takes to burn something? Yes. You shall proceed immediately with the summation examination. That's why some things it's really hard to figure out what the calorie count of it is, actually. <laughs> Mr. Foreman, all are members of the jury ready? Absolutely, sir. Always ready for action, my chaps. Very good. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury. You will each explain on what grounds you have determined the defendant to be guilty. I need a little sweater. But I'm gonna wait till music plays. Jurors' contentions. All right, let me go get uh, a sweater. I'm very cold. Right back. Right back. Oh my gosh, the internet was crashing yeah. while I stepped away. <laughs> oh, it's not? Okay. I don't know. I do feel cold all of a sudden, which makes me think there is a storm coming. I don't have striped sweater. It buffered? Yeah. It looked like it buffered. Damn. So rude. Yeah. All the evidence clearly points at the finger of guilt at this young pickpocket. Pickpocket teen? Mm. As a housemaid, I should like to see if all filthy ice was promptly and regular, rigorously eliminated. This is not evi- what? What? Oh my god. Oh my god. I think you find that if you look at that photograph in stereo, the truth would just pop out. If I had left it in there, I should think there would be repercussions by now. What the fuck are you talking about, old man? Mind made up. Stop. Global radio transmission. Verdict to follow. Stop. I have so much useless knowledge. I just muscle memory typed it out. This man's credit card info. <laughs> In motherland, we never say judge by clothes, judge by head. I am convinced brothers are innocents. Do... V's and W's do something in Russian. I don't know shit about the Russian language. I like the little rat he's got, though. Hmm. The circumstance of the crime and the evidence do indeed implicate the defendant rather comprehensively. The storeroom, locked from inside, in which the victim and the accused were discovered alone. And in the accused's hand, the fatal revolver, the firing of which was heard by these witnesses. Not to mention this print. Take it from a chap who's seen action on the battlefield. That young girl, the girl's on the verge of pulling the Bali trigger. <sighs> oh dear, her loose cameras are supposed to help, not hinder. I'm afraid I think we have an uphill struggle ahead of you. Yeah, but I don't think Gina shot Mr. Winnie Bay. Which means there's more to the situation that we have yet to see. What if she was trying to buy it? Right? She's like, what about this? What about this? 
And she is the reason now why they put the guns behind the counter. <laughs> you have the poor counsel. Proceed with the summation examination. Baby girls, time to shine. Look how short this man is. This is literally me standing next to anyone. I'm just a short little gremlin of a man. <laughs> Do I look smashing though, love? Can't be looking cheeky, isn't it? All the evidence clearly points finger of guilt at this young... I'm gonna press that. Uh, you're Mr. Natsume's landlord, Mr. Garrida, aren't you? We must really stop meeting like this. Ah, you're the lawyer chap. Well, there's a turn up for the books. Yes, yeah, rather turbulent time we had back then. Back then, was it a month ago? Some extraordinary events took place at your house, that's for sure. Luckily, Mr. Sholmes and I were able to get to the bottom of it all. I think we did a rather lot for you, didn't we? I mean, obviously. I wouldn't be suggesting that therefore you should change your leaning to not guilty or anything. Hmm. Can't be denied, I suppose. The curse of the Garadev house is the talk of the town after that business. Lodgers moved out and I couldn't get a volley sold to take up the tenancies. Oh. I haven't had the heart to break the news to Joe and me yet. Bad enough that girls have clapped up. Yes, can't be denied. You did run a lot, but not for us. That's for dash, it's certain. I suppose not. Of course. There can be no suggestion of that being the reason I'm leaning towards guilty here. Obviously. Obviously. I really wish you paid more attention to the trial, unless to juror number two. I should like to s Wait, he's paying attention? What? As the house, I should likely see all. Let's press that. Five. Polishing the bench, I see. Again. The maid's work is never done. Not a blemish must remain. What exactly do you mean by filthy eyesores? On my way to market for his lordship, I have to pass through the East End. Places full of beggars, pick purses, and crossmen, the scum of the earth. A little harsh, perhaps. Let me be plain. If it were up to me, all those back, some back slums would be made spick and span or eradicated. Is that crazy? Or is that a slur? I don't know. I'm her scrubbing the germ. OCD, contamination OCD. I guess no, spick and span is literally like a product, isn't it? Am I crazy? At least we have people like the great detective working to achieve these important goals. I dropped and broke a candle jar. No! Oh, was it melted wax too? I hope not. I hate cleaning up wax. I used to have people like the great detective working to achieve these important goals. You're referring to Mr. Herlock. That's right. I like to keep abreast of his, ex abreast of his exploits by recording Rant's magazine in between my duties. Sea glass? How do you make sea glass? He just wonders. I want one of those rock tumbling things, but they're loud and they're expensive. And I don't have a lot of rocks to tumble. So. <laughs> but I could go to Lake Superior and look for rocks. He does wonders cleaning up London streets. I could do that. Let me buy a rock tumbler. I love how your phone just autocorrected Tumblr to that. I think that is hilarious. <laughs> you gotta make it gentle, gentle, so it doesn't break the glass. I want sea glass. I want sea glass. Rock Tumblr, sexy man, sexy, sexy man, Herlock Sholmes. Hi, Tim. How about you? I'm, I'm kind of stuck here. Uh, I'm not super stuck. I haven't pressed enough. My opinion should be declared an honorary maid of the capital. Is that how that works? Mr. Sholmes, a maid. There it is. There, there's, there is the inspo. It's really quite unforgivable. God, just come having the audacity to shoot our very greatest detective. A minor detail, it was the two brothers in the stand who shot Mr. Sholmes, not the defendant. 
Minor detail indeed. They're all gutter scum as far as I'm concerned. I have a small collection of wine bottles I'm meaning to smash, but I need the tumbler. How much do those things cost? Are like $60 or am I overpricing? I just feel like it's so expensive and it's so... Okay, my fabric's on the way. I'm excited. Um, And it's patience. You have to wait till it's done. Which I don't know if I have that. Even though I'm literally my fat. That's the other thing that happened. The good thing that happened yesterday. My flowers sprouted. Which is very good. They sprouted way quicker. They, it usually takes like 21 days. It took a week for them to sprout. Which is kind of crazy. Well, it just might be an idea to get our facts straight anyway. It's because... It's because I did compost in the soil, which is, they like that. They like eating. Yes, all right, I shall amend my statement. What, why are we, what? I, I read it and I don't think my brain, it's stuck to my brain. These brothers are the scum of the earth. They should swing for shooting the great detective. I think you're fine if you look at that photograph in stereo, the truth would just pop out. Look at the photograph in stereo. What? Don't you know? You look at the photographic print normally. It looks like so the pickpocket girl is about to shoot the victim. Obviously. Objection. But there's no indication that the defendant ever fired the gun. What I'm saying is that if you look at the same print in stereo, it could reveal all sorts of new information. Are you a fan of stereoscopes? Oh, how did you know? Is he looking at one right now? Let's call it a lucky guess. Oh, he is using one. Never gets old seeing the two prints merge into it close before your eyes. It's extraordinary. It's captivating. It's the height of modern modernity. Of course. Oh, yes. I think you'll find that the scare scope is here to stay. Giving us new perspectives. We can only dream of before. It's the greatest invention the world has ever seen. Well, it could give you a new perspective. I'm having a tough time. If I had left it in there, I should have... What the hell are you talking about, old man? What exactly have you been muttering about all this time, sir? Keep talking about having left something somewhere or something like that? Hmm, so sorry. As you can probably tell, I'm a surgeon. This man is a surgeon? I knew it. Why? This is just like real life for real, though. <laughs> a surgeon that totally passed me by. Of course, people conducting surgery in this country are considered to be doctors. I'm gonna have to look up the history of surgery. Even though me and my kind are at the forefront of medical science, the real brain's in the field. What? So, what is it that you think you've left behind? Well, it's a little embarrassing to be honest. Surgery is considered barbaric. I mean, it's sort of sometimes when, when some doctors don't use anesthetic for crazy things i learned what a leap surgery was and they don't use anesthetic for that that sounds horrifying old school doctors used to be barbers what which surgery has a 400,000 fatality rate i don't know They were using anesthesia, and it was like a new concept on Sholmes. Time me, time me, gentlemen, the fastest time me, time me, comma, gentlemen. Right, before anesthesia. Atlantic, let me read without fucking... I don't want to, I don't want to make an account. I have to do coding, and I don't want to do that right now. They use it only to have the sharp tools in one building because of tool scarcity and proficiency training. Horrifying. I am... Maybe I am okay not being born at a different time. I can be an iPad baby, and I think that's okay. You see, I was operating with someone yesterday, standard thing, went through the abdomen. But when I finished procedure, I... Well, I couldn't find my scalpel anywhere. What? Exactly. Surely not, you say to yourself. Don't you worry, isn't it? That's what's been troubling me this whole time. Could I really have left my scalpel inside the fellow's belly? No, of course I couldn't. So, there you have it. Like I said, a little too embarrassing, really. 
That's one way of putting it. The other is manslaughter. That's exactly my concern, seeing as this case appears to be all but sewn up. I need to focus on trying to remember exactly what I sewn up elsewhere. Now, I'm sure I made everything... I made sure everything was back as it should be. Well, as sure as you can be without being sure. I'm sure you need to be more sure. Mine made up stop global radio transmission of verdict to follow. Hold it! Why? Radio transmission, what do you mean? Are you from the Far East? Um, yes, from the Empire of Japan. Our communications from Far Eastern nations used to take place by mail. Royal Mail steamers take more than a month to complete the journey. But now we have the electrical telegram, so we can send messages using electrical signals. Thousands of miles of cables have been laid along the ocean's beds connecting the world. That is wild to me. They just have cables underwater? That's like crazy. Thousands of miles of cable on the ocean bed. You're well informed, young lady. Tee hee. <laughs> right? That's how old they are? What? But cables will soon become a thing of the past. Will they? Just when I was starting to catch up. Radio transmission is the future. Messages carried over airwaves to four corners of the globe. Stop. Excitement growing. Stop. Atmospheric electric. Stop. Right. Try not to wear out your fingers. Era of wireless tele... 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 Telegraphy? Telegraphy? Stop. Driving technical revolution. Stop. And people say images like the stereoscope are the height of technology. What a piffle. Hmm. I could just I really can't. They're just silly toys. Um Excuse me. What do you have to say about that? Turn your up when you're obviously fuming, but what? Do you perhaps have something to say about juror number five's last remark? Not in this era, but remember they made wireless electricity? Solar power. <laughs> the barber shop is red, blue, and white. The look of the barber pole is linked to bloodletting, with red representing blood and white representing the bandages. It's only blue in America because red, white, and blue is patriotic. Wait! What? What? Barber poles, America versus U.S. Huh. More British differences. Hmm. Huh. Huh. <laughs> huh. Do you perhaps have something? As if I couldn't guess. Oh, you bet I do. Say that again. Go on. Oh, I skipped that. It's probably fine. Goodness, are you talking to me? I think you might be, yes. You think stereoscopes are just toys, do ya? Absolutely. I mean, really. A machine to view photographs in three dimensions? Why on earth would you not just use your eyes to look at the world around you? 3DS moment. It's all three-dimensional. What a great way to appease the man. No, I'm sorry. Stereoscopes are of no practical use at all. <laughs> you just don't know. Pardon? I think you'll find that viewing a photograph through a stereoscope can unlock all sorts of possibilities. I'm obviously gonna have to demonstrate. What sort of possibilities? Well, take a crime scene, for example. If you had a pair of photographs from a crime scene that you could view through a stereoscope, could reveal hidden clues you never even notice. Cleaning up glass words my headache. I'm gonna lay down. Have a good lay down. Relax. Glass sucks. Cleaning up glass sucks so bad. Relax. Take a break. Have you got any Runu? Any prints we could look at with a stereoscope? Mm, do we? We have this and this, right? Hmm. 
How about this print? Should we keep pressing them? Take that! Ugh, I was wrong. I can't actually think of anything. What? Really? Oh dear, I think someone... Maybe I need to have a stereoscopic look at your brain. What's that supposed to mean? Okay, so I was wrong. happening this guy will let you know about his hyperfixation me please tell me you're not Velen Bolshevik Russian revolutionary R revolutionary da I believe there is such a rumor it's just a rumor as you see I have unfortunate appearance it looks like vicious criminal your words not mine I just want to point that out I want a little mouse friend to sit in my little hand like this. People call me a revolutionary, murderer, autocrat. And which glove fits? <laughs> mm. Good day. I am visiting London for sightseeing. I would like to take bus to Crystal Tower, please. Methinks he might be doing something at a Crystal Tower. Right, that didn't stay on stage at all. You'll forgive me for having my doubts. To be treated like vicious criminal all the time, it is very painful. People do not realize. I have much sympathy for these brothers. People say they're criminals only because of how they look. Skulkin brothers. Duh, maybe they went inside prom broker shop. But they've done nothing wrong. That is all I want to say. The Skulkin brothers did nothing wrong. Alright, well, first of all, that's one not-so-little misunderstanding I'll need to clear up straight away. Tell me something, Iris. I'm too petite to sit in your hands. If you get a dandy lion seat, I can sit on that like horn dance. <laughs> what is it, Bruno? The jurors are chosen at random from the inhabitants of London Town, aren't they? Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? In that case, how is it there's a Russian tourist sitting among them who looks for all wor the world like a revolutionary? I don't know. Hmm, okay. If I could change the minds of more than half of these six jurors, the trial will be over. But we know that Ginny would never shoot anyone. Yeah, so we need to find contradictions. I must be ready to go whatever lengths I have to. Okay. Shower... What the hell am I supposed to be doing? So I think we pit these two against each other? Oh, this is. This one's hard. Uh, maybe save scumming, maybe. I think we pit her with him I think Objection. those two statements clearly contradict each other good lord counsel explain yourself oh my my statement contradictory contra con contradict juror number six you've got the wrong end of the stick I do not have stick I have mouse <laughs> I'm just a little mouse. As juror number two said earlier, when the Skulkin brothers fled the scene on the night in question, they fired a shot from their revolver. Yeah, they shot poor Mr. Sholmes on the abdomen, I understand. Surely. I don't know what the fuck he said. Surely something? Surely you're not going to tell the court now that you didn't hear. Abdomen. Sir. Sorry, my English is still learning. You are telling the court you didn't hear. Forgive me, I did not hear. Ah, <sighs> uh, here is word. Abdomen, part of person's body containing stomach and other vital organs. Is this what you mean? You should say in plain English. I am Russian, not native. Who thought it was a good idea to let this man be on the jury? Are we being xenophobic right now? 
So, you are telling me these brothers who look like criminals were lying. They said before we never done nothing, but truth is they shot detective. Duh, this is double negative. Yeah, that's exactly right. Leave him alone! Drop him! Especially when lie is said by a person who looks like criminal. Coming from you, that seems surprisingly prejudiced. Put the mouse down! This means when they said we never took nothing, maybe it was also a big fat lie. Is this true? I'm... Well, according to the police report, no stolen goods were found, so... <gasps> Enough. I trust no one now. It's not the mouse's fault, sir. I must see with my own eyes. I must investigate crime scene myself. I'm afraid that won't be... Yes, it is, Bruno. Easily. Sorry. Prints from Hurley Red-Handed Recorder. Huh. If you compare the prints that pictures Ginny and the next print from half an hour later, you'll be able to see straight away if anything was taken or not. Kiwi, Mr. Prosecutor. <sighs> Calling on the prosecution in the middle of a summonation examination of all times. The print showed the curse threatening the victim after she broke in the shop. There we go. We got second print now. Following this, the victim and the accused moved into the storm room. Meanwhile, the Skulkin brothers entered the shop and suddenly heard the fatal gunshot ring out. Oh, wait. Sadly, none of these events were captured on film. This is the print produced by the camera half an hour later, after the brothers' flight. I thought there was two cameras. So it's taken after Hurley was shot, then. As far as I can tell... Nothing has been taken. That does seem to be the case. I can't notice anything that's obviously missing. So the brothers who look like criminals told only one lie. They shot man, but they stole nothing. It seems so. Good. No, not good. You were right. I did not understand the situation. Now I know brothers have lied. I think it is very important to continue with your trial. Okay. Yay! Well done, Runo. The balance is shifting. Well, it's a start, I suppose. But there must be more in what these jurors are saying that I can use to expose the truth. If I can do that, we might just turn the situation to our favor. Thank you. Continue. All right. Okay, so now we got two prints. Now we should be able... And another print in the court record. I wonder if we can make use of that. So we're going to press Miss Lady here. I gotta make sure I don't click through. Alright. He started yelling when she called it a toy. There we go. All right. So then we pursue him and then uh, we get to look at the pictures, hopefully. So I did things a little out of order, I guess. Blah, 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 blah. What a great way to peace. No, I'm sorry, stereoscopes are no practical use. I'll have you know that they are. I think you'll find that viewing a photograph. Can you unlock all sorts of possibilities? Obviously gonna have to demonstrate. What sort of possibilities? Well, take a crime scene. What? Have you got any? Absolutely. Now we have some. All right, then. Juror number three. Are you saying you can do this with any two suitable photographic prints? Of course I can. Very well, then. I'd like you to demonstrate. I'd be delighted to. Just give me one more print, and I'll amaze you all. Take that! All right. These two prints were both taken with the same camera in Wendy Banks on the night in question. 
Yes, let me see. Tell me, Mr. Um, lawyer. Do you know how stereographic images work? We gotta cross our eyes. Do you understand the principle? Well, I think so. Not through our eyes. Same only with the sight shift in position. I'm glad it does it for me, though. Does it do that for me? Because it's not on the 3DS anymore. Or, like, this game is on the Switch. It's that small shift between certain objects and the two pictures that's really important. So I'm going to use two photographs that are exactly the same. No, no, obviously that wouldn't work at all. Not seen, seen three-dimensionally, anyway. Oh. Oh. Of course, now I see. Ah, I think the young girl has discovered the secret. I have, I have. Oh, she's cross-eyed. Can you cross your eyes? <laughs> Yeah, have another look at these two pictures of Hurley's camera. Bruno, go on. Okay. Oh, the lamp is broken. Can you see the obvious difference? Of course there is. There are two people in the first and no people in the second. Well, yes, you can see that straight away. But, try looking at the pictures in three dimensions. I'll give it a go. So to start with, you have to cross your eyes and then try to make the two pictures overlap and blah 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 blah. It's the lamp. Wait. Well, did you manage to see it? Yes, I saw it. Hi, Ina! How are you? What's up going on with these two pictures? That is not what I saw. That is not what I saw. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, maybe I should have done the cross eyes. I'm not doing cross eyes on stream. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I got the treats. They're on the bed, so they might. They're both on the bed, so I don't know. They might freak out a little bit. Ugh, my stomach's hurting. I'm doing pretty good today. I'm a little sleepy. They got their treats. I did not see the difference at all. Can I see the pictures again? I'm... <laughs> Those the lamp that I saw the difference. Um... Water. I'm crisscrossed. All right. All right. Let's get into this. Oh my god, everyone's cross-eyed. Oh, why, why didn't they make Mr. Van Zeke's cross-eyed? That's it, you see. That's the other amazing power stereoscopes. Other amazing power. I'm not gonna explain this. Black magic. Why the deuce do some of the things on the counter seem to jump at you like that? You find that if you consider the basic principle of the stereoscope, you'll answer that your own question. Basic principles of the stereoscope. As I said before, if you try to look at two identical pictures using a stereoscope, it won't work. It's the slight shift in the positions of certain objects that lets you see the pictures three-dimensionally. Actually, you shouldn't do black magic because I said so. <laughs> Hold on, we might have to zoom in. Oh, they are shifted. What? Okay. They are shifted. Okay. That is not immediately obvious. They really wanted me to do the crossed eyes trick. I'm not doing that. It actually kind of hurts to do that. Like, it hurts my eyes. I like the muscles. A slight shift in their positions. Hmm, there must have been. No whole fire there. Got a reasonable gas grasp of this whole cross-eyed business now? But why do the devil does a shift between the two prints exist? Well, what's the answer? Come on, you're the cross-eyed. What? Me? I don't know. 
You know, Runo, it's quite simple. It is? Just think it through step by step. The first photograph was taken at 1 a.m. Then 30 minutes later, the second one. Position of some items on the counter appears to have shifted slightly in the interim. So that means... That means that sometime in the half hour, someone must have tampered with the things on the counter. What? What kind of word is that? Someone tampered. New information. Stop. New. Not mentioned in testimony so far. Stop. Runo feels like the name of an archon from Genshin. Rinosuke, aka Runo. Water vision god. Hi not water. Wow. Hydro. We have to go in round circles a little here, it seems. But I'm starting to see what I should be aiming at in a summation examination now. I can't stop yawning. I mean, I need a pause. <laughs> My brain is tired, I think. Ladies and gentlemen, the question now is clear. We now know the items on the countertop were moved, but by whom? Are you suggesting you might know? No, no, I don't know. Of course, I can tell you right now who is responsible for the almost imperceptible shift in the items on the counter. Am I? It's one of these guys, it has to be, right? Take that! It was the witnesses curling the stand, the Skulkin brothers. Wait. This does not agree with what brothers said in testimony. They said they did not even have time to pull dukes from Lucy Lockets. My phrasebook says dukes is meaning hands, and Lucy Lockets means pockets. Don't squeeze him! But this is another lie. Is this what you're saying? Yeah, I'm afraid so. Now hold on there a minute. You can't be sure of that. I quite agree. The accused is a common pick purse, after all. It's perfectly possible that she went to the things on the desk. I think that's unlikely. Why? As you can see, the defendant was pointing a gun. It seem as my learned friend indicated that she was coercing Mr. Windybank to open the storeroom. In other words, Mr. Lestrade's interest lay within the storeroom, not in the main shop. Giving her no reason to touch anything on the counter. All of which points to one thing. The Skulkin brothers have omitted key facts in their testimony. But the accused is a pick purse, common gutter trash. Why look any further for the wrongdoer here? Because the Skulkin brothers are thieves, madam. No better, in fact, worse than a pick purse. I believe these brothers were looking for something on the victim's counter that night. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, if you condemn the defendant on the grounds that she's a pickpocket, would it not at least be right and proper to thoroughly scrutinize testimony given against her by two thieves? Oh, oh honey, just learned a thing. <laughs> well said. I, for one, would like to hear more from that shady pair. Did you just use his forehead? <laughs> Can you all see now? I think you'll find stereoscopes aren't playthings. You've seen the extraordinary potential firsthand. All right. Bonk. Wholeheartedly agree. Stop. Must purchase after Charles. Stop. We'll return home via Regent Street. Well, it would seem that this trial is yet to run its course. The ladies and gentlemen of the jury have declared their inclinations via the mighty scales of justice. I hereby call the summation examination to conclusion with the balance altered in the defendant's favor. Two lean to guilty, four lean to not guilty. Accordingly, the jury is without consensus. And I order this trial to continue. Yay, well done! Oh, by the way, what? You should hold on to this, Bruno. You never know when it might come in useful. Twice in one trial would be unusual, surely, wink wink. 
Lord Van Zeeks. You will instruct the witnesses that the court demands additional testimony. Hmm. I'm sure I won't spoil the bouquet to do so, my lord. I've won myself another chance to probe that pair about their activities that night. And I won't stop probing them until I've proven that Gina is innocent. Well, I do think that's a good stopping point for tonight, since my brain is very, very, very tired. 10 seconds is something that can actually be so long when you're trying to clock. No, for real. <laughs> For real. Um, all right, we didn't mess up. So we got trial part two tomorrow. Wait, what day is it today? Wednesday. Yeah. So tomorrow I'm gonna stream probably around the same time, probably after Jeremy goes to work. Um, I'm gonna put it on the screen. Um, I'm gonna go. Uh, what? No. <laughs> I'm gonna stream tomorrow. Around, probably starting at, like, 7? 6.37? Something like that. After I eat dinner by, not by myself, but, like, you know. Um, and then we might just go ahead and finish this trial tomorrow. Uh, instead of doing these checkpoints, but, um, and then... We'll see how that goes from there, because I don't know what to expect from this game. So, let us, if you don't mind, can you stick around for the raid? So I can find someone to raid real quick. Um, so we can support other, um, excuse me, other people. Um, and I'm going to look in this Twitter thread. <laughs> and also look up the history of surgery, because I'm really shocked. Um, what, we got four people? Let us see. Oh, random streaming. I think random's finishing Metroid, so we are going to raid random. Oops, not docs. Let us see. Let us see. Oh damn. Uh, where's my button? There it is. We could we could raid uh Pokemon. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I would be so scared. I bet she doesn't accept raids that aren't from friends. Right? I don't know. I don't know. Um, so tomorrow, uh, it's 8 p.m. my time now, so probably like 6.30, probably the same time tomorrow. Uh, and we will, I will try to be more awake because I'm so tired. Imagine you raid someone and they go, ooh, blocked. I it would hurt my feelings really bad. I hurt my feelings really, really bad. <laughs> night night, y'all. Thank y'all for joining me today. Uh what a perfect little bite sized trial time. And we're gonna finish um not finish tomorrow. Maybe we'll finish tomorrow. I might be able to go a little longer. I'm just really freaking tired right now. I am super tired right now. I'm very sleepy right now. So I will see y'all later. And I'm gonna go get a snack. All right. Well, bye bye. Bye bye. Oh my god, you're. I need to take size off. I will take size off tonight. I will do it. All right, y'all have fun at Random's house. Bye bye.